Hello there guys and welcome to this Wednesday video. Um, if you guys didn't get the memo, I wasn't able to make a video this past Monday because I was out um, in Canada with my marching band from my high school playing some tunes. So I apologize, there was no video this Monday. Um, and also I apologize if my voice kind of sounds a little weird, I'm still kind of getting over a cold. But um, today I'm going to show you guys a pretty neat 50 point um, bizarre garbage map pretty much. Pretty much a 50 point map um, that you can use in Final Cut Express or Pro. Um, if you guys have Final Cut Pro, you probably um, use Motion. If you guys want to have a uh, many point um, crop or a many point mat, um, however, in Final Cut Express, the limit is eight. So having a fifty one, um, a fifty point mat could be great for you know making a new intro or something. And so I'm gonna show you guys where to get that, how to download it for free, and how to use it. So let's begin this tutorial. All right. So the first thing you want to do is come over to this website. I don't want to read that off because it's kind of long. The uh, link is down in the uh, description. Um, but pretty much once you get here, it talks about what it is, um, talking about some, what are, uh, Bezier Curves, uh, that's, that's the, uh, name of the, uh, kind of mat, it's not a garbage mat, it's a Bezier mat, which is, um, pretty much the same, except you can, uh, curve it. And so what you want to do is where it says, um, download and install, right click that, and hit download link file. And that will download to your downloads folder, and we just open that up, and here we have, um, <laughs> I downloaded several times because I've done, um, many takes of this tutorial. But here we have the 50 point um, Bezier Mat V2. Then you just want to take that, come over here to your Macintosh HD, go to Library, Application Support, and then either Final Cut Express or Final Cut um, um, Pro Support. Since I'm doing this in Express, I'll do um, Express. And then when it says Plugins, just drag this on right into there. But because I'm um, already installed it, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to put it back here into my downloads folder. Then we can click out of, uh, click out of Safari. And here we are back in Final Cut Express. Now here I've got my clip from my Wednesday video, just me coming in here, I'm sneaking my Hershey's bar. So I'm going to click that clip, come up here to Effects, Video Filters, and um, there's going to be a new kind of folder called Tom's Filters, so let's check that, and go to the 50 point uh, Bezier mat. Now if we come up here to the Filters tab, and um, here where it says um, point 0.1, that's point, uh, point 0.1 like right there or so, Come down a little further, and where it says point 0.2, put down a point 0.2, and then um, to activate point 0.3, we just need to check this little box right here, and then let's bring in a point 0.3, and this will um, allow us to see actually what's going on with the mat. So now, if we say um, now if, um, where it says show mask, if we click this button, we can kind of see what's going on here. Now, of course, we know as you know, invert the mat just like any other mat. Um, if we want to do stuff with some al um, alpha settings. We can go with a um, preserve existing alpha or ignore the existing alpha. So um, I don't have an alpha mat on it, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. We can also, you know, always soften that or, not, or change the um, softening amount too. So if you guys want to blend this in with a different clip, you can do that as well. Also, I'm gonna talk a little about uh, Bezier curves. Now, Bezier um, curves. Here, if I just kind of show you guys, you can see what it kind of does. It pretty much just kind of curves the uh, curves the side, so it looks a little more um, rounded as we can see here. Um, also, if you guys notice, um, the resolution on these, it kind of looks very blocky. It doesn't look very professional and nice and smooth. However, if we see here back in the Filters tab, uh, still on the same clip, where it says Curve Resolution, if we just bring this up to, you know, say 100 or so, we can actually see the uh, resolution um, improve uh, um, a lot. So we, you know, drag it up to its more and more uh, resolution. So um, we can um, continue on doing this for all the 50 points as we see here, um, to point 50, and it works on the same basic settings. Um, I apologize for the play, uh, playing in the background if you guys didn't hear that. Um, but let's activate uh, point 4. Now we can bring down point 4, and let's just put this down like right here. Let's also uh, put the uh, Bezier curve for number 3. Um, if I can find that one again. I don't, I don't really want that. Ah, my bad. I don't know, I'm just kind of screwing things up right now. Alright, Bezier curve for number one. Let's bring that back into about zero. I don't want any curve. Alright, so now if we were to bring point three, I believe that is. Yep. Here it is. So we can bring that down. Now, if we wanted to, um, this would be a really great application for, um, for example, like an intro or something. Like if you wanted to mat out your subject, um, and if you didn't have, um, have a green screen at the time or something, um, this would be a gr uh, great way to do that. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to help support this. I'm making these um, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until about the midway of June. And, um, yeah, so please subscribe. I already said that, and <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying now. But I'm kind of delusional because I'm super tired. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday, or on Friday, with hopefully some more sleep in my system. So, bye.